from DraftKings, according to our tale of the bet. Now let's send it to our ring announcer here is Barry Egan. Atlanta, here we go. This bout is scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. The man in charge of the action once the bell sounds, Mr. George Chip. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at 276 pounds even. He is making his professional boxing debut, but he has 18 wins as an amazing MMA professional. 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Frank Mir. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in at 205.8 pounds. He has an outstanding professional record of 29 wins, only nine defeats, one draw. 13 of those wins coming by way knockout from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, PA. Here is Steve USS Cunningham. Fighters in, fighters in. We've been over all the rules in the dressing room. Stick to them. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands. Touch gloves, go to your corner, come out fighting. Steve, Steve Cunningham, the former cruiserweight champion against Frank Mir, the former UFC heavyweight champion. Oscar, what's your prediction? I'll tell you one thing. Look, you look at Frank Mir all tattooed up. He's about 100 pounds bigger than Cunningham, but the USSR is going to bring some bombs to the table. Let me tell you. <laughs> you mean the USS? No, the USSR. The baby. USSR doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you get He's retro, go, baby. He's you get retro. Let's go. <laughs> Look you know, at his abs. Look at his abs. Man. Frank Mir uh, said these early <laughs> rounds very important to him because he thinks the boxer gets uh, the edge oh, as rounds go on. No. Once Steve Cunningham starts throwing bombs, Frank Mir is going to fold. Uh. But if Frank Mir puts the pressure on him, I would put pressure. He's heavier. Go. Put it. Go, baby. Go. Oscar's right. He wants to get in right in the kitchen, put his head on his chest, and use that weight advantage. And Al, correct me if I'm wrong, but with heavyweights, there is no limit, really. When you're heavy, you're heavy, and you've seen discrepancies this big before. Yeah, absolutely. As I pointed out, uh, Cunningham has beaten a fighter, Nate uh, Vecino. Uh, he beat him, uh, Vecino, he beat him when he, he was 73 pounds bigger than him. So uh, he has beaten bigger men before. Guys, well, hey, hey, guys, I need to find out. Listen. Is everyone still high from Snoop's weed? Because oh, I'm feeling baby. a little bit of the effects. I'm not going to lie. Snoop Doggy weed. Dog, baby. <laughs> look at this little on. look at this little shoe box they're fighting in. Oh, baby. Oscar, you're, Oscar, you're Somebody, right. Somebody, come on, baby. Come on. That what do you think, Mario? Oh, it's a tiny ring. USSR, oh, yeah. baby. Uh, Oscar, USSR. Oscar's definitely high. I can tell you that. Oh, Snoop Dogg, I love you. <laughs> what, what gave him away? Oh, <laughs> I mean, baby. I, listen, hey, I'm I just a little hush puppy, baby. I'm just a little hush puppy. You're a hush puppy. In the okay. Snoop Doggy world. <laughs> this is what you get on Triller Fight Club. Steve Cunningham, Frank Mir going at it. Frank Mir making his pro boxing day for you, Al. Yeah, you know, so far, Frank Mir has landed some decent power punches against uh, Cunningham. He's trying. And remember, he said these early rounds, he's got to get off to a, a pretty good start. And you have to give him credit, he has gotten off to a good start. I, I love, I love. Cunningham's physique. Look at, look at, he looks like a Dadonis. He looks like, he looks beautiful. He looks in shape. Hey, Al, look I at know the way he's making him a miss. Al, I know you're a straight arrow guy, but how is it be feeling high for the first time? Well, I will say this is probably the first boxing broadcast on which I've gotten a contact on. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it's <laughs> you the have, first you, one. You have a cocktail. Yeah, so do I. So. And, and it's the first one to actually get a contact. Mario, Mario, in, uh, Mario, what do you think, Mario? Hey, I'm like, you know, I'm surprised that Frank is not being more of a bully in there yeah. using his weight. Because I would, like you mentioned earlier, Oscar, stick my head right in his chest and be heavy on him. Because if he's going to try to stay on the outside, Cunningham's going to pick, pick him apart. Oh, baby, just go. Attack, attack, baby. Attack like the golden boy. <laughs> Yeah, it, Let's it go. Like, it looks like a matter hey, of time. It Oscar's like in rare form. Time. I love it. That ends round one. Oh, baby, I would have had this done in a second. In a second? You like that small ring, Oscar? I love this. Hey, I would fight in a phone booth if I can to. Well, you certainly did that over the course of your career. So, oh, all right, yeah. you got to tell us. July 3rd, who are you leaning towards? 
I, the, Can you tell me? I always fought the very best. Okay. There will not be an exception. I will fight the very best again. So you're looking more Stay boxing, tuned. MMA? Stay tuned. It doesn't matter. I'm going to okay. fight the best. I try to get out of him, but he's not I'm telling me nothing. I'm going to fight the best. So. Let me shout out to my son, Oscar OG. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you guys think Frank Mir is feeling? You know what? I think, I think Frank Mir might be struggling a little bit. I, I'm really actually surprised by his strategy. I thought he'd be a little bit um, more aggressive because of the big size advantage. You don't want to try to stay on the outside and box right, with the boxer. Hey, hey, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Let me tell you how he's feeling, okay? Tell Let me, Let me Holmes. tell you how he's feeling. He's feeling tired. He's feeling, he's feeling restless. He's feeling worried because Steve Cunningham Box. is the real deal. He's the USSA, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a part of the Navy for, year, for four years, so oh, he's not oh, the USSR. That was a nice jab. Yeah, good stiff jab by Cunningham. Yeah, Frank Mir needs to let those hands go. He needs to throw some chingazos, Oscar, and really get ugly in there right there. He wants to hold exactly, them, lean Mario. on them, throw those, use that Box. weight advantage. Mario, for those that don't know, what are chingazos? Chingazos are really hard blows. Mexicans like to say, or all Latinos for that reason, when you're throwing chingazos, that means you're throwing hard, hard blows with bad intentions. Oscar knows all about chingazos. I, I would I would throw the left jab to Frank Mir's body, double, triple jab, and faint, and come back with the right hand, and boom, left hook, and knock him out. Here's Amaro. You made the point that Frank Mir wants to get on the inside and lean on him. He was trying to do that there. and It was for a little while, but couldn't land effectively. Well, listen, Steve Cunningham is fucking Frank Mir up, guys. No. I mean, that's a point. And, and he looks very comfortable in there. Very, and look at he's smart. He holds and he's when giving he away gloves. 50 pounds. 70. And he, 70 pounds. And he's still kicking his ass. But, but, but do not count out Frank Mir. Look at him. He can move. He can move. But I think it's a matter of time. Unless I'm wrong because Frank Mir has the punching power to knock him out with one punch. He's biting for those Sphinx, Al. He's biting those Sphinx. He's keeping them at a distance. Cunningham's fighting the fight he needs to fight. There's, yeah, a re yeah. hey, there's a reason why There's a reason why Steve Cunningham has nine losses, because he has no chin. <laughs> well, well, I don't know about no yeah, chin. He went, he went yeah, down was, a few times. That was but... against other boxers, not MMA fighters. Well, also, Cunningham put down Tyson Fury, so let's not forget that. He put yeah. down the big Tyson Fury, and he good, put him on his point. back. Yeah, good point. point. Wow. Good That's point. That's impressive, actually. Under a minute to go in the second round, Steve Cunningham, Frank Mir. You know, even in the second round, the mouth's looking a little open. There's a little snap already missing from Frank's punches. The longer this so goes, it doesn't bode well for Frank. Yeah, well, that, that was his feeling, even when we met with him the other day, that he had to get off to a really strong oh, start. Oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful man. right hand. Oh, we baby. felt that right oh, hand, there. baby. Man. Frank Mir, baby. Yo, Frank Mir's starting to pick it up a little bit. I'm surprised by Frank Mir. He's bringing the game to the table, baby. He's bringing it all to the table. He's fighting USSA, baby. <laughs> hey, look, Frank Mir beat Brock Lesnar. I don't know about you guys, but Frank, Brock Lesnar is a bad, bad boy. Oh, yeah. He's like a monster. He's like a Viking. Seriously. <laughs> but it's a whole other thing when you're in that squared circle. Oh, oh big oh, shot. Beautiful Whoa. right. He got lit up. Oh, Frank heard you. He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed towards the third. Come on, Frank, Frankie. Frank may have been through wars, though. He's been through I wars. love it. I love it. He's ready to go. I love it. He's got his daughter cornered him as well, too. She's an MMA fighter, undefeated. I mean, Jacob Stitz Duran. I think Stitch worked your corner at one time, right? Oscar, am I wrong? Never did. Okay. Never well, I was did. Wrong. My fault. Never did, but uh, it's never too late. Yeah, maybe you'll have for July 3rd, baby. right? July 3rd, baby. It is Fourth of July weekend. Hey, I started Cinco de Mayo. Now I'm going to start Fourth of July weekend. In America's birth, baby. Let's go. Bring oh, some fireworks. <laughs> some more fireworks to the show. You know what? It's interesting because I don't think I've ever seen a daughter. Is it the daughter? In yeah, the, the daughter. It's his yeah, daughter. And he, that, worked, and he worked her corner in her MMA fight. So that's so kind of a first. Fun, that that is, right? I yeah. don't see, you yeah, don't see I, that too often. Wow. Am I cool or what? Should I get out of it? Very unique. All right, Mike Coppinger, what do you got, my man? Oscar De La Hoya said that Steve Cunningham has no sure? chin. We don't know about the chin, but we do know Show that he can punch. Face more. Because when he <laughs> fought Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion of the world, in 2013, he dropped him hard. Back to you, Ray. 
All right, thank you very much, Mike. So right now we're into the third round. Did you guys think it would last this long? Never did. No, Frank I'm Mir actually is doing very amazing surprised. Against USSA, Frank Mir is doing incredible. He's doing amazing against a fighter who is a world-class freaking athlete. Let's go, oh, baby. Ooh, big Let's shot. go. It is. Cunningham, him. you talk about the jab earlier. Cunningham's really starting to use his jab now, and that's a key in this match. And showing some movement. Those are very small rings, so moving they're is They're fighting difficult. in a phone booth. Yeah, they're, they're fighting, fighting in a phone booth. They're fighting in a phone booth, baby. Yes. Yeah, that's another way to put it. It's a boxing match, though. Watch what happens now. He's going to start pepper. Does Cunningham have the power to take out Frank Mirror? Will it be an accumulation? Because I don't know if the one punch... He's no. caught him pretty clean a few times. Mario, he's got to work the body. Yes. Actually, Cunningham you're right. has to work the body. Actually, straight you're right, right Oscar. Hands. Straight jabs, right hands to the body. Yeah. Boom. He, he Take the wind out of him. Take yep. the wind. It's like a balloon. It's like a balloon. You have a balloon. You keep pounding the balloon. Pound it. Pound it. The air comes out. That's what he has to do. You're ask, actually, Oscar, you're right about that. He hasn't really been effective to the body because he's got a head like a Rottweiler. So it's not like I, those shots to the chin have been effective. He might want to start working the body, hook, uh, uh, some hooks to the liver. I like, Couldn't hurt him. Uh, Mario, I like Frank Mir's pressure. He's pressuring. Yeah, pressure. that's the way he's got to fight. Side to side. Move the head. Move the head side to side. Don't smother yourself. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Throw your punches long, and you can take down the USSA. <laughs> Steve got it to have former cruiserweight champion of the world. We're just over the midway point of the third round. Steve Cutting have Frank Mir. Frank Mir, former UFC heavyweight champion. Steve Cutting have former cruiserweight champion. Frank I like Mir. the jab. I like the jabs for Frank Mir. I like the jabs. Double jab, triple jab, double jab, triple jab. Come on, baby. Yeah, he just right got popped with the right hand. Double jab to the top, right hand to the bottom. Left oh, hand to the right now hand he's to going the bottom. To the body. Now he's going to the body. He might have hurt you, Oscar. He's going to the body a little bit more. Frank Mir is remaining composed, though. He's, he's taking the punches. Well, he's remaining composed. Jab but is Cunningham key. is doing jab well. Jab is key. Jab Ooh, is key. That's baby. a big right hand by jab is key. Cunningham. Yeah, he got some hands down, though. Careful when the hands oh, down. hey, Muhammad Ali had his hands down. Muhammad Ali had his hands down. And look at it, what he did to Frazier. <laughs> Ali Frazier, baby. Yeah, that's, but come on now. Ali, well, yeah, yeah, that's Ali. That's the GOAT. <laughs> Sorry to say to everybody, that's the GOAT. Frank Mir, good fighter, but not the GOAT. <laughs> Don't smother him. Don't smother him. Take a step back. Take a step back. Frank Mir. Take That's a step where back, he baby. needs to go to work. Frank Mir needs to go to work right now to the body. Lean on him. Hit him in the hips. He's got to make it a little fight in there because he hasn't done enough to put rounds in the bank and time is running out on him. Oh, now baby. Frank Mir needs to make this a more physical fight. Yeah, he's trying to yes. do that on the inside. Oh, he, and baby. Oscar made the point. He smothered his punches in the last. Yes. Smother. Don't smother. Don't smother. Your mother will tell you. Don't smother. Don't smother because your mother will tell you. Oh, oh, nice oh, little combination. Oh, oh, nice little oh, combination by oh, Frank Mir. All right, through the first three rounds, Sean Wheelock, how do you have the fight score? The USSAF. Ray, three oh, rounds to none, Steve Cunningham, 30 27. I thought this fight would be about volume over power, but Cunningham has had both the volume and the power. You look at referee George Chip. I think he's doing a really good job in this fight, but it's at the disadvantage of Frank Mir because when Frank Mir clinches, these are very quick separations by George mm. Chip. I like that analysis. Oh, look at that. The Iceman, Chuck Liddell. Oh, Could that be an opponent? Too. Is that going to be one of your opponents? Chuck, oh, you like no, that? Chuck wanna, Liddell's I, I, got I, like 50 wanna, pounds on the him. The Iceman. I don't want to get my ass iced. Yo, that was a bad, bad boy. Finished off Tito Ortiz, Randy Couture. That is the OG, I don't Chuck Liddell. I want to get my ass iced. <laughs> he's, one of, he's one of the pioneers. No, he's he's got about a good 50 pounds on Oscar. I wouldn't advise uh, that. I don't care if he had one pound. Yeah. No, I don't want to get iced. Hey, Mario, I, I got to talk to Ryan Cavanaugh. I want to see Chuck Liddell inside the Trilla boxing ring. That'd be a fun fight. Let's see it. All right. Well, let's see round four between Steve Cunningham and Frank Mir. Oh. You know, Frank Good counter right hand by uh, Cunningham. What, you know, he's countering a little bit uh, as well when Mir comes on the inside. He is, Al, and I'm surprised he hasn't thrown more Ooh. combinations. Oh, yeah. but he's boxing beautifully. I, I, I like this. I like oh. this. It, this is high level. This is high level boxing. Yep. This is high level boxing right here. You're right, Al. I love Frank Mir. I love Steve Cunningham. They're doing high level boxing right here, baby. Oh, that's nice, a nice, nice shot to the, to the body. body. I think he heard Oscar Mario that Cunningham's now attacking the body more. I think he did too, and he's being effective when he does that. I'd like to see him throw a couple more combinations because I feel he has the speed to be able to do it. Frank Mir, though, being the wrestler that he is, 
effective with that pressure, keeping them against the ropes. Also, but, Cunningham switching to lefty, which ooh, is intriguing in this very fight. Very interesting. Yeah, it's surprising in a way. But what people have to understand is Frank Mir has him by 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Yeah. You keep pressuring him. You keep pressuring him. You just get him tired by not throwing no punches. Right. Well, you know that, Mario? That's right. That's keep exactly throwing, right. Keep throwing. Frank Mir, keep throwing. Go, 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 go. That's Deflate it. the balloon, baby. Yeah, but he's going to get tired first. Deflate the balloon, Frank Mir. Let's go, yeah, it, baby. Oh, 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 we, we see guy Frank Mir. No. Guy with sign is in the house. Woo. Guy with sign says gloves up. Yeah, well, no shit. USSAF, <laughs> baby. We got guy with sign in the house. I got to tell you, I'm a little, I'm impressed by Frank Mir's stamina. Big fella hanging in there these rounds, managed to keep his hands up for the most part. Still kind of out there bobbing and weaving. He's getting yeah. out boxed. And he's, but thrown, he's, and he's thrown some punches yeah, in this round as well. Stuff. Cunningham's doing a brilliant job of holding him to stop the action at a certain point so he can he's, get away. He's a professional. He's yeah, a professional. Right. He knows the game. Yeah, and we're professionals, but Al, are you still high from what Snoop went ahead and has been smoking all night long? Well, I think we established that. Contact <laughs> highs exist. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you're saying hey. it is a thing. Yeah. Imagine, Man. imagine, I, I imagine the golden boy and Snoop in the same room, baby. <laughs> in the same room. Let's go, baby. I, I don't USSR. Think, uh, I don't think I have the stamina to be able to Think about that, but <laughs> there's no Soviets in the ring. There's a lot of pressure here. I'll tell you what. Mario, Mario, Mario who knew I was going to get ring. this kind of pressure here? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give like, me, I like give me the bouncing. Here. <laughs> I like the bouncing of Frank Mir. I like the legs. I like the legs. Oh, yeah. big shot! Yeah, yeah. he's Mir trying to He just has to, to faint. Oh, he has to faint. He has right. to faint more. You're right, faint Oscar. More. And he's got. And, and when he puts that pressure to be effective, he's got to let his hands go. Cunningham he can't just is rush a professional. In. Cunningham is a professional. Frank Mir has to faint, yeah. faint more. Yeah. I love the action. I love the action. So, Al, I've been told from side. sources that yeah, Snoop rip? gave you a blunt. <laughs> is that true? Is why that they, why sources are telling me no, that, that Snoop gave you a blunt. I feel man. like I'm a yeah. face the nation here. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's... Hey, I am a broadcast journalist, Al. <laughs> <laughs> There's you know? a rumor to that effect. I mean, listen, <laughs> that's what I've been told from sources. Uh, Al, Al, yeah, that, I'm going to smoke with Al Bernstein. You're going to smoke with Al Bernstein, yeah, Grand Faces? Yeah. Al, Al doesn't want to share. Those are, those are, high high three. Oh, high high see, that, three. that's not nice. Those well, are it's not nice rumors. is what Cunningham is doing to Frank Mir right now. Oh, you look a little fuzzy there, Al. A little fuzzy. It's all right. Al's got a big smile on his face. Yeah, you, well, you, 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 you forgot about Puff Puff Pass? I mean, come on now. I'm at the end of the table, boy. What's up? <laughs> All right, so guys, do we uh, do we we know what round we're going into? Let's go yes, to Sean Wheeler. Sean, how do you have the fight score thus far? 39-37, Steve Cunningham. I gave Frank Mir round number four. I essentially oh, wow. thought that switching the southpaw, oh, look Cunningham at took the round look off. At Frank Mir exactly in. what Frank Mir wants to do is what you're seeing right now. It's the inside pressure, but again on cue, there's the quick break from referee George Chip. Frank Mir is still very much in this fight. Frank Mir has to pressure him, but he has to faint. Faint him, faint him, make him think. The USSA is all about <laughs> being a professional fighter. Faint him. Faint him. Faint him. Faint oh, him. Oh, man. Yo, this is what you get at Triller Fight Club. Two heavyweights just trying to beat the crap out of each other. Oscar, not only does they have to faint and get in there, but he's got to let his hands go once he does manage to get inside. You can't let Cunningham tie you up. Hit him in the waist. Hit him in the ass. Hit him in the shoulders. You got to let those hands go. A la Roberto Duran, baby. Exactly. Yeah, manos de pierna, the hands right of stone. Right oh, there, there we go. Don't hold, Frank. Let those hands go. Take a step back. Take a step back, baby. He's catching his win. Fatigue may be an issue. Yeah, it's only a six-round fight, though. But these are some big boys, and they've been letting their hands go. You know what? I've seen I've seen heavyweight fights at the highest level, and these guys are throwing bombs every single second, every single minute. Hands off to them. Nice right My hand, hand off. Steve Cunningham. Oh, oh, you oh, 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 Let's go, Cunningham. That was a beautiful hey. right oh. to the to the body Yo, and a you, pivot. Crime face is combination. I, look, I know you don't pick favorites, but I'm sure you're rooting for Cunningham. You're an East Coast guy, right? 
No, no, no. Oh, I'm come a, on, I'm crying a faces. Fan, I'm a fan of oh, both of them. Oh, get out of here. I'm a fan of both Don't of them. give me that bullshit. <laughs> come on. Frank Mir is a legend. He's a world-class athlete, but Cunningham is a pure boxer. And he's going gonna, he's gonna to give it to him right now. And we're going to see what happens if Frank Mir can overcome this. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing, guys. If Cunningham throws a left jab, faints a left jab again and throws a straight right hand, he knocks out Mir. Mm -hmm. I see it. I saw it right now. Yes. I well, saw it right now. Al, yes. Al, uh, straight jab, faint, and right hand straight down the pipe. Frank yep. is showing a pretty good set of whiskers. So you see, far. Look, look, at, look at the way Frank Mir is stand up straight. Oh, oh there it was. There you it see is. that? There it was, right He's there. He's squared up. He's squared up. He's a big target. Cunningham's lead right hand has always been good, and in this instance, with Mir tired, it's watch the right hand. Watch laser. the right hand. Here it comes. Here it comes. That's, Here it comes. That one USSA. USSA, that USSA, one baby. Two. USSA. Here we go. <laughs> he right might, he, he's going to go to the body and then come up back to the top Ooh. with it. Watch. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Uh -oh. USSA, baby. Ooh. Ooh. See, I told yeah, you to the body. Shot. There's Ooh. the body. He's now he's going to go up top. He's measuring that. Now he's going to come up. What I tell you. Boom. All right. One more round to go. Steve Cunningham, Frank Mir. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Who can't hit me? Last and final round. It'll be a bit of a moral victory, I think, if Frank Mir is able to go the distance, Al. Yeah, I agree. You know, he knew these later rounds were going to be a challenge for him. They have been a challenge. Yeah. And we'll see. Hit that other wall. Last round, everybody. Stay off the rope. Stay off the rope. So if Cunningham doesn't finish him off in the sixth round, is that a bad thing, gentlemen? I don't think so because he's no. giving up a substantial amount of weight. He's hit him with some really clean shots, and he's going up against a former MMA champion with a solid and set of whiskers. Yeah, Frank Mira can take a punch. He's I'll taking a punch with I'll small tell you gloves. So. I'll tell you one thing. On those, they are fighting right inside just in the square right. circle, and right. Frank Mir is no, holding his own. Right. He's actually even doing better than holding his own. He's doing great. And I, my hat's off to him because he is doing amazing. Yeah. Well, Al, Frank, Frank Mir did tell us that if he yeah. went the distance, he would consider it a victory for yeah, him. Yeah, he said that would be yeah. something that he would he could show fans that he did against a top-notch fighter who, yeah. even though, you know, Cunningham's been retired for several years and he's 44, he's in good shape and he's always been a very clever fighter. So it's a, it is a, a, you know, a moral victory for Frank Mir. I think both fighters can hold their head up high yeah, after I agree. this victory. They both have shown great moments in this fight. This is the last round, baby. You gotta fight till the end. You gotta go take a deep breath and just go hard, baby. You think about a fighter's life. This is what it's all about right here. The last two minutes of your life. Yep. You want to fight or you want to fold? Oscar. Oh, the judge's hands. Has he been, has Cunningham been deflating the balloon? This is his chance right now to pop it. Let's go, baby. And he's Let's about go. the balloon. Let's go. You don't want to. You don't want to. Oh, regret. good shot. You Ooh. don't want to regret when you're in your dressing room and saying to yourself, "I should have done more." Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oscar hyped. <laughs> right, put it all out there. Last round. This is all you have, baby. Let's go. I love the passion. See, Oscar's a true fight fan. We'll watch fights all the time. and gets hyped for all of them. Oh, look at that oh, with the downstairs, oh. upstairs. Baby, you're getting hit anyway. Might as well go out in your shield, baby. Let's go, baby. Frank Mir, Cunningham, let's go, baby. All right, so I've been told that Woo! Charlie oh, D'Amelio, oh, Dixon D'Amelio, two of the oh. most famous girls in the world, along with Bobby Snarfish, who oh. goes ahead. They're going to be giving the belt to the winner of this fight. So the D'Amelio sisters, Dixie and Charlie, two of the most famous girls in the world, along with the Triller co-owner, are going to be giving a belt to the winner after this fight. And that eye starting to swell a little bit for Frank Mir. Frank Mir looks like he's going to go the distance. And I think that's a victory in and of itself going up against a high caliber boxer. Every fight, like every, Steve time Cunningham. I fought, my, yeah. every time I fought, the next day I asked myself, did I give it my all? Did I give it my all? Let's go, Cunningham. Let's go, Frank Mir. Let's go, baby. I like yeah, the passion, but I Oscar. bet you didn't get a belt presented by Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio. I'll tell Bro, you that, Oscar. I got 11 belts. 
<laughs> oh, where are those girls? My daughter is going to kill me if I don't get a... <laughs> My daughter's already hit me. Let's go, baby. That, Mario. No, I know. All right, final Woo! moments. Frank Mir, Steve Ten Cunningham. Seconds. Let's go, Dixie baby. Dixie and Charlie seconds. Gamelio giving the battle man. along with Bobby Starfish. And we go the distance. That's good. Sean Frank Wheelock, Wheelock how'd you have the scrap. fight scored? He lasted the whole time, Frank Me. Sean Wheelock. Wheelock, what's the score, my man? Ray, five rounds to one, Steve Cunningham, 59-55. Frank off, Mir, Frank I Mir. gave him round number four. It was close in round number six, but before you think about anything else when you're judging professional boxing, it's who landed the cleaner, more effective strikes. That was Steve Cunningham, and he also landed the majority of the power punches in this bout. All right, so the question is, did he pop the balloon, Sean? He definitely did. I think balloon. you guys are popping the balloon in the commentary position just behind me ringside. <laughs> All right, let's look at how the action unfolded. You know, it was, a, it was a valiant effort by Frank Mir. He tried to rush in and throw some punches, but you can't learn the nuances of boxing in just one training camp. As, yeah. as Oscar could tell you, Cunningham is a seasoned pro, world class, and there's just different levels to this. That was a beautiful combination. And you know, he had sparred with Berman Stavern and Marco Huck. In sparring, he could work out with them, but this right. is a little different because it's competition. Exactly. And he couldn't quite, you could see it in that replay, he was thinking it through, couldn't quite get it done. Yes. All yeah. right, with the decision, we send it to our ring announcer, Barry Egan. Atlanta, the heavyweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe the entire bout. To the scorecards, we go Atlanta. Judges Pat Cronin and Nola Oliver score the bout 60-54. to 54. Judge Ann Canner scores the bout 58-56 to 56 for the winner. By way of unanimous decision... From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Steve USS Cunningham. So Steve Cunningham, the winner, he's presented the belt by Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio.